first and foremost, congratulations. You did it. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels amazing. And it's been such an honor, you know, being on this journey with you. We're so proud. Yeah, I'm so thankful that you were here. Like you were, you helped facilitate it. And I'm just really appreciative of all of the support and the love and the education and tips that I, that you provided throughout this whole experience. It, it was m like more than I could have asked for. So the main reason I joined the L3 method was to get out of the rut I was in. I developed some pretty gnarly habits when I like throughout the pandemic and with the loss of someone who was very close to me. And I like was, I felt very stuck. Like I couldn't, it felt impossible to get out of this, like, um, ovary at night by myself, drink wine and then feel like, like the next three days and then finally feel better and immediately turn around and do it again. So it was like doing it twice a week, um, self-isolating and, uh, not working out like zero motivation to work out. So, I remember being like really scared and nervous and then telling myself everything was going to be okay. And that, um, what did I say? It's like, everything's going to be okay. And like, you're so brave and courageous for taking this journey on. And that's already something to be proud of. Yeah, my vision was to, um, develop an exercise routine and be excited about that exercise routine and, developing a more healthy relationship with my food and um, just creating more balance. That, uh, my limiting beliefs were what was keeping me stuck. And that's what I really needed to focus on first was like that mindset. Like, I guess like the ultimate belief, limiting belief was I need to eat and drink to relax. Yeah, and almost like do so in isolation. Right. Like it needed to be by myself. <laughs> yeah. It, I'm like reflecting back on your journey in our first um, deep dive call. It was, it was amazing how you like completely reframed where and how you're going to get your resourcing. It was like, yeah, that was a huge shift in the program. And I still remember you saying when you find those things, like it's going to, you're going to transform rapidly. Like the food is going to fall off when you have these other things. And like yeah. that stuck with me that like kept me motivated and kept me going. Cause I knew that was true because I've done that. Like I've experienced that before. So I know that to be true. So that was really cool to like, see that in action. Like I did find those things and within a month, like this habit was eradicated. <laughs> it's amazing amazing yeah. you're getting like so much juice from life at that point yeah so much nourishment from life that's so cool and this cool. seems so simple and kind of generic but like affirmations were huge for me at like the start of it like ch shifting that mindset was the first step um like I remember one stuck with me for like a week and it like that was the week I like totally shifted and it was um because at the time, like giving up my habits seemed like a sacrifice. And I heard someone say, um, if, if you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes a sacrifice. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's like exactly what I needed to hear in that time. And so for a while there, like whenever that urge came up, I would just repeat that affirmation over and over again. And at first I was like, so upset. I was like, oh, like, like, this is so hard, but that affirmation kept me going and like kept me seeing the greater vision. And now what I'm realizing that is, as I'm talking about it, is that abundance, like lens or factor of like, focus on what you want, focus on like the good feelings and the vision and like visualization of your goals. Um, because when I focus on those things and I remember my why and like why I'm doing what I'm doing, it brings me back to like that present moment. And like, I have the choice to decide right in this moment, whether I want to, um, make a decision that like goes against my dreams and my vision and my goals or to support it. Really Basically. cool. And say that, that one affirmation again, um, say that one more time. One yeah. More time. So if 
you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. Oh, so good. I've chilled. Yeah. <laughs> and I love how you touched on visual visualization being a really powerful one for you because it seems as though people have different styles by which they can realign, get back on track, refocus on what they want, you know, uh, or um, ingrain new core beliefs. So some people visualization is very potent. Other people like, like, um, like a free rant or a free journal rant, like either spoken word or journaling is like, they, they try to visualize, they can't see anything, but then they can write it out or speak it out. And then it happens that way. Some people are so kinetic that they have to feel it in their body. And they do that either through one of the ways we talked about visualization or talking or writing, but sometimes it's dancing sometimes it's breath work. Sometimes it's like just sitting and focusing on a feeling they've already had before and like re putting it back in to experience it. So I love how you gave that differentiation. You're like, for me, visualization helped me like really turn that corner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And sometimes it's, it can be a combo. I still haven't figured out which one is like my. Yeah. Favorite. Absolutely. I think they're all incredible tools too, like using them in combination. Cause like what you just said, I did all of those. Like I did yeah. do the journaling. I yeah. did do the breath work and the meditation and all of those. I just found like my most powerful ones are affirmations and visualization. Like those are the two that like help me shift out when I'm like really struggling to shift out. <laughs> yeah. Like I wonder if there's a correlation between learning styles and like th this. I love like what you had just mentioned that. And I just started thinking about that too, because I bet you that there is some type yeah. of play. Yeah. Yeah. Like and people who are auditory, people are, who are visualization, people who have to do it to learn. Right. Um, yes. I just like needed that support and that accountability and some guidance. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes like we just need some objectivity, right? Like we already know the tools, but then, yeah, like we get stuck in certain things that usually it's, with the women that tend to sign up for L3, you and myself included, like it's a it's a loop about being self-critical. Like it's a getting down on yourself and it's sometimes hard to get out until someone comes in and says, hey, like look at it from this way. Maybe it's actually like this. And then you're like, oh, okay, cool. And then it's like a plug and play because you have your tools already. Right, so exactly. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, if it's like that, then I'll just do, I'll just sprinkle a little breathwork magic and off we are, off we go to the races, like. <laughs> yes, oh my God. I feel like that's exactly what happened. Like, let me just grab this tool and this tool and like, got it, like I'm set, I got it. Yeah. Just go. I love, I love that, I love that about you. It's like, it's almost like this accum like cumulative, if I'm saying that, cumulative snowball, really? Snowball. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I don't know where she's getting this is not relevant to her. It's like pieces of is it? Yeah. like um, mulch or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's like, it was like a cumulative effect. Like everything happens in perfect timing, all of that. There's this like snowball. And it was like, you are accumulating gifts and accumulating tools and you are acquiring skill sets. And then this learning, you know, different things happen in your life and, and you're learning and you're being challenged. And then like, it was all there for you in storage, like as your toolkit for when you needed it, kind of. So, mm. cool. so um, good. So good. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, so number three, speak more into the woman that you were when you first started. And granted, you were always amazing. You've always been a worthy, beautiful queen, but what new versions of yourself did you get to meet through this process? Like what shifts occurred with your mindset, your psyche, your being. Yeah, who have you who have you become in this process that maybe you weren't quite there on day one? Your beingness. You could speak into that. Yeah, I would say <laughs> um the first words that come to mind are like diva goddess queen. Like <laughs> I and the like this program, along with the people that I've surrounded myself recently, have helped me to, and of course, ALA, like that was the start of it, created the awareness, but 
my confidence, my um, assertiveness, my communication style has all shifted a lot over the course of the past three, four months. And looking and feeling good has only facilitated that change, like, or has facilitated facilitated that helped facilitate that change basically like I feel very confident I feel secure in my body um and that that um influences who I be because when I was in that space I felt hopeless I felt insecure I felt stuck I felt um like I wanted to hide and I feel like the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And if I was like wanting to hide my body, like I was also not speaking my voice, like I didn't want to be seen. And so that led into other areas of my life. That's one reason, like it was kind of like a double-edged sword with the self-isolation because I was self-isolating and that was making me like um, feel more uncomfortable in my body, but then feeling more uncomfortable in my body made me want to self-isolate even more. So throughout this process, like developing that confidence and that security in myself again, helps me get out there and also shift who I be as a person. Yeah. Wow. Like one fed into the other. And now it's almost like the opposite is happening. One is feeding into the other in a positive way. Exactly. It's the same thing. I'm like, oh, I feel good. I want to go on a date. I want to yeah. go to happy hours. <laughs> Yes, All that's so beautiful. It's just like, that's our birthright, you know? Like, mm -hmm. we should get to feel good no matter where we go and no matter what our plans are, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you. absolutely. There's something else I was going to, like, add to, like, something wonderful you said. Everything you're saying is wonderful. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're like, yes, I want to go to happy hour. I want to go. Oh, I like want to date. I want to go to happy hours. I want to like take all my like, I want, I'm going to, well, I started doing surfing and I'm doing, I started dancing recently. And what was the other thing I'm doing? Uh, well, like, oh, volleyball and roller yes. skating. Like I have like all the things I'm doing and these are social things as well. Yes. So I love it. I love it. And San Diego is so perfect for like, they combine so many social things that are also active and outdoors right. and healthy and yes I love that. negative ions so good I remember the two things so the the loop of feet that were the two the things that were feeding upon themselves that were kind of like bringing us down 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 more and then the things that feed upon themselves that are bringing us up there's that in between time that you gotta stop there's that in between time that is um like I don't want to say the make or break it, but it's, it's just like the space between you jumping off the cliff of like what sucks, but is familiar to the, more of this unknown place. And I just feel that you are so um, inspirational in that gap, like watching you in the gray area, you just, you handled it really well. Like a, like a vulnerable boss, if that makes sense. Like a, I'm here I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm not sure what's on this other side, but step by step, I know I'm going to like get there and have, and you have, you know, you had faith and trust. That's really cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say was I totally agree with you. Would you say that your commute with the communication, would you say that your communication style has become more direct when it comes to speaking on what you want for your own self care. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like with your family reunion, with dating, mm -hmm. right? All of the above. And work as well. That's right. Setting better boundaries with with work. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then I know that this doesn't have to do with the self care part, but asking for what I need too at work and dating with my family as well because I've always felt like I don't want to be a burden I don't want to be a burden and now I'm learning to communicate my needs and not and ask 
and speak up unapologetically about yes. them. So good. And what has the general response been? Has it been positive and understanding? And yeah, cool. Yeah, it has. Even yesterday, I said something to the other manager and my boss looks at me and she's like, I've never been so proud of you. <laughs> oh. it was, she was just like, I am so proud of you. Like, I can tell you're really working on the like your request and the way you ask, like, you ask for what you need, That's so which good. is cool. That's yeah. so good. And it almost builds like more trust because your boss will then know, like, she's going to let me know instead of just like, quietly silently burning out and then just flaking because she can't finish the project because she's like exhausted right yeah yeah communication across all all the fronts but I remember at the beginning and this is true of so many of us women even if we're successful professional we have these vicious people pleasers where we'll just go and go and go and you know, I feel for you that like it, some of those things were a little intimidating in the beginning and you weren't sure how you're going to like handle that with work, family and dating. And you've, I, dare I say, it's like, you've mastered all three in such a short period of time. It's just like amazing. And, but you're right. It starts with who you be and you just become this, like you said, confident diva goddess queen. <laughs> uh, and, and like I said, like, I feel like the way you do one thing is the way you do everything and like who you be in your relationship, you're going to be that person in your workspace as well. And in your family and home life too. So it's like, if I start, if, when I started practicing this in one place, it, it just like waterfalls into the rest of my life. Yes. So good. Yeah. <laughs> Then also when you had mentioned, um, and we touched on this in our first deep dive, that um, rules and boundaries are different. And when we did, the deep dive was huge. Like that was like a huge shift for me and like realizing that I was super rule oriented and wanted all the rules and then I wanted nothing to do with them. And then, okay, how do we establish boundaries instead? I think that was like the biggest thing for me. I'm really grateful for how much joy I've been experiencing lately and and um grateful for this new like body that I've been able to like not even new body my body I'm grateful for my body um yes you're just like the sculptor like yes moving exactly. that wasn't truly your essence and now this is like what's you yeah <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, I'm just grateful to be able to like, I'm grateful for my body and how it, it works for me every single day and the ability to just like be so aware of it now. And um, also confident in I can mold it however I want it to look. Like I never really thought about it that way before. Um, so that's really cool. Yeah. Is there anything about the way you feel now or anything about your experience now here at the finish line that's surprising or different from how you thought it would be. I'll just tie in number nine. Was there anything also about the journey overall in L3 method that surprised you or turned out differently than you thought it would be? I would say I didn't realize how the how when I was first, I feel like that's why I was so felt so stuck at the beginning because I didn't realize how the heck I was going to get out of this. And the way I got out of it is surprising and how quickly I was able to get out of it was surprising to me. I thought this was going to be a whole lot longer of a process <laughs> and how easy it was. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. It's like, it gets to be easy and simple and fun and natural and feel good. Yeah, like the simplicity was one thing I was very pleasantly surprised with and how you um, you are for simplicity and you just made things so simple. It made my life easier because I need that in my life with as much as I got going on. <laughs> totally. You absolutely are so busy and you have a million things pulling you in different directions. So like the simpler, the better, the more pared down to the essentials the higher the rate of success and the more, I, I, I don't know if you share this, like it just feels true in the system because the simplest, most elegant solutions are always like the best ones. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like that's, that shows up in science, you know, that shows up in spirituality. Why wouldn't it show up with our bodies? Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. Well, it's been such a pleasure and an honor being by your side, Cassie, these last few months. And from the bottom of my heart and all the coaches at L3 or myself and Leanna, thank you so much just for trusting us, for allowing us to be a part of this really special journey. And so thank you so much. Truly, truly. Absolutely. Thank you so much as well for all of it. As I said, like very, very happy with my results, very happy with the program and just incredibly thankful for you and Leanna and the program. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Cool. Any, any other feedback, anything at all, like anything you'd want to see more of, less of anything that you felt was super supportive and could be amplified or things that we should trash forever. <laughs> No, I love, I love the way it's set up. I love the modules and the order of the modules. Like I thought it was all great. I will let you know if anything comes up, like if I'm reflecting on it, but this moment in time, like there wasn't ever anything that I was like, I wish it was this way. I wish there was more of this or less of this. Like, I feel like it was a really good balance. Okay, cool. All right, girl, you got my number. Check so if you need anything at all, I love you so much. Love you so too. much. Oh, I love you too. Thank you so much, Leanne. You're so welcome. Say bye, Andy. <laughs> bye. bye. Mwah. So <laughs> cute. <laughs> all right. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye.